touch my son for a week straight while I, right. while I'm right. off on an island somewhere. It's just be, it would, it's a very hard thing for me to pull off. Um, you know, maybe one day I'll have somebody that can, I can trust to leave for a week. You know, my husband works, my son works, he goes to school. It's like, I can't, um, I can't do it right now. So that my angle is not to get on the show or on any show. I'm just talking like I, I always been. Right. But you would be open if you got it like down the road, you'd be open to a girl's trip because that would be fun to go away for the week. No, I'm saying I would do it, but I can't. You can't. It. I get it. Yeah. Like <laughs> yeah. you're not like, I mean, yeah. you're not like, oh, yeah. I'll never do it. Like, it's not like I'll yeah. never do a show again. The housewives, yeah, totally different story, but a week yeah, away with the, no problem. I get it. I get it. Well, I people, I don't yeah, people always say that. I mean, like once I have someone on my show, they're like, why is this person still talking about it? I'm like, they're not. They were kind enough to come on my show. I've asked them for seven <laughs> years and I'm asking questions. Do you want me not to ask about housewives? Then you would be raking me over the coals for that. So Right. And it's that's just- what's funny too is like, if I go on a podcast or someone asks me a question and I answer it, it's like, why are you talking about that? It was forever ago. I'm like, because the person, the host asked me. Correct. <laughs> like, Correct. The person asked me about it. Like, I'm not going to answer it. Like, get these out people here. are crazy like, though. When you see some and, of these like, fans, they're nuts. Well, the girls on the show get all worked up. Like if you say something about the show when you're not on it anymore, I'm like, excuse me. I was an OG on the show. I started the show. I can, it was my experience. I can talk about it to the day I die. It's that's right. That's right. If you have a problem, you want me to be quiet in the corner and not say anything. It's like, I don't have to do that. If I don't want to, I don't have to go away with and hide in a corner somewhere. Cause I'm off the show. That show was nope. 10 years of my life. Like, that's right. You know what I mean? It was, it was a huge part of my life. Seven seasons. Like I'm allowed to speak on what I went through during my time. If someone asked me a question. Absolutely. So that point, like it, go fuck too themselves. bad. Go fuck. I agree. Go fuck themselves. Cause they still, they still say shit about me. Oh, and I go, well, guess right. what? But you're still talking about me. So that means I am relevant. Like, I don't right. need you to tell me I'm relevant. I am relevant, you know, right. but um, anyway, like, so Jacqueline, I not relevant? exactly. <laughs> and in my mind, I'm always been, you know, relevant and I'm going to stay relevant. But, um, so let me ask you this and then David could continue because I want to interject something. All these reality shows, we see a lot of marriages and they just don't make it. They don't make it and they're dropping like flies. I mean, it's very, very sad. Tell me what you think kept you and Chris together through all of this. You've had a lot more thrown at you than reality shows. You've moved. You moved away from your family. You moved to your family. You have Nicholas, you know, who was adorable, sweet, but it's a handful. How do you keep a check? How do you keep your shit together with your husband so great? Because you have a great relationship. I know that. Yeah, I think I think a sense having a sense of humor is a huge part of it. Him and I have mm-hmm. a really good sense of humor. We play off of each other really well. Okay. I mean, we we dated for five or six years before we ever lived together. So wow. we have like a long distance like friendship, you know. Right, really, right. Before any of that you know, even being together. So I think when you go through things in life too, and you get through things, it's not like, you know, oh, we never fight or argue. You go through stuff in life and then you get over that and you, it just makes you guys stronger. Like, God, look at all we've been through and whatever. But, you know, if I'm in a mood, he knows how to joke with me to pull me out of the mood where otherwise I would stay in a mood, you know? (laughs) Yeah. he Yeah. He know when to pull away and when to push and, when to be supportive and when to like, okay, let me just, you know, let them have their space. Right. And I think sense of humor is a huge part of it. We like to joke with each other and I don't know. I, I, I think it's I wonderful. Know. I love yeah. it. And I always love Chris. Lots of and to, I know you always listen to me. <laughs> I'm going to, I'm going to say something that Jacqueline's going to forget. We, Jacqueline one time said to me, you know, I'm in the closet drinking a cup and he brings me a cup of coffee and he wants to have sex in the closet. And I cracked up. Remember that, Jack? And I go, I think that's so freaking great. Like he'll I walk in with- I lay in bed with him without him trying to have sex with me. I'm exactly. like, can I just lay here and sleep exactly. for a second? <laughs> yeah, she was like, I can't even drink a cup of coffee without that. I was dying that day on the phone because he walks in. I don't remember. Jacqueline, did he hand you the cup of coffee because he got it? Or did you have it in your, you remember the story when you were like, I'm in the yeah, closet? I don't remember. I don't remember. It was so cute. It was so cute. I mean, so that keeps it real too. That keeps it fresh. It's, you know, it, 
you know? Yeah, that's I'm adorable. A lot softer now than it used to be, but you know, that's he thinks like little thirty like that. You have a great butt and, though, and great legs. I, I wouldn't say that now. <laughs> you look gorgeous. Um, Go ahead, David. <laughs> take it away, David. Tell you how to get that Now, in. I mean, I was going to say, well, it sounds like, you know, from this, you know, you have a great marriage, which we all know. Like, it just sounds like you're so much happier now. Just, I mean, like, do yeah. you look back and just say, like, that's just another reason of, like, who would want that stress of the show? Yes. Because, you know what? I would grew into it because went in not knowing what it was. It grew while we were on it. It, it was, you get sucked in because, you know, the money is good. So every time, like at the end of a, a season, I wanted to quit. I was done. Yeah. I was done. I was done. Yeah. Then you get a temporary amnesia during the time you're not filming. And then you're like, all right, it's good money. I'll jump back in and do it. Then yep. you get reminded why you don't want to do it. And then <laughs> once you're away from it, though, it is a different, it, it's, my life is so much more peaceful. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a, a whole different, like, I don't know how I lived in that world. It's constant stress. You're constantly looking over your shoulder. You're, yeah, sure. you're like, that's coming true. after me today. Who's, you know, what are we like? You're trying to talk about your life and they're like, we're not following that. Tell us about this or talk about yes. this. When something tap you don't on the talk shoulder. About. The tap, uh, on, the tap shoulder. on the shoulder from the producers. Like you need to yep. bring this up. You need to talk about this. Yep. In real life, you wouldn't bring up certain things or talk no. about certain things because you don't, or you wouldn't hang out with people you don't like. Exactly. When you're on the show, you're forced to be put in these uncomfortable situations around people you don't like, people that you know are coming at you, people, you know, it's just, it, the whole thing felt like it was giving me cancer. That's, I felt very- It's terrible. Yeah. It, it was, the stress, the stress on Jacqueline it's, was brutal. It, especially at a time where like my son was regressing on the show oh. and I tried to kind of hide that from the producers a little bit. Cause I didn't want it to be a big thing until he right. got the actual diagnosis. So I'm dealing with, you know, this child that I, you know, went through several miscarriages to have, I'm like, you know, happy. I'm, I'm I have this beautiful baby boy. And now I see him regressing before my right. eyes. I'm like trying to hide it from the producers. I'm dealing with all this and the middle of all that. It's like, can you say about Teresa about yep. blah, blah, you know, and you're just like, who gives a shit yeah. about yep. any of that stuff, but you have to, you know, you're filming. You got to do it. You're you under contract. That. You're under contract yeah. and they force you to do things. They force you to say yeah. and do things. And that's why, like, I thought I quit after four season after stripper gate, I thought I right. quit after that night. I had a complete meltdown. I was like, it was the height of my son's regression. I had already shut down. You see me in California. Yep. I tune out. I'm like, I'm going to sleep. I'm not getting in the middle of this fight. I had been crying constantly over my son. I knew um, Teresa really didn't like me at that point. I, I was just like, what am I doing here? Like, I don't yeah. want to be part of this anymore. And I tuned out. And then after stripper, because people don't realize the, the end of the finale of fourth season reunion was the night before they taped the season three reunion. So we had already filmed a complete season of right. the fourth season. The 